What's up guys, we're back with One Day at a Time and today's video I want to talk about how to wake up every morning with a smile and feeling great about life overall in general. I'm going to talk about blocking out negative energy and take in as much as positive energy as possible. The positive energy are pretty obvious. It's all the finer thing in life, what everybody want, everybody dream of, the goal that everybody want to achieve. Toward being happy, feeling joyful, feeling excitement, fulfillment, satisfaction, and all that good stuff. On, on the negative energy, it's a little bit more confusing and harder to understand. It's, uh, and here are some examples. And here are some signs if you are experiencing some negative energy. When you're feeling lack of motivation in life, you don't want to do anything, you'll find an excuse for everything. Everything everything coming on your mouth is, I can't, this won't work, this can't happen. Just a bunch of negativities. And everything that you're involved with, all the event that you attend to, anything that goes against the grid, it'll make you feel angry. Find yourself being angry all the time. More often than usual, if you're not in that stage of mind. You will find yourself it's harder to communicate with people. You will also have a hard time concentrating. And at the end of the night, sleeping no longer feel restful for you. Those are some example of negative energy. And here's a graph that I came up with to simplify things to help you guys with better understanding of this concept. So as you can see, I divided the graph to, to two sections. On the top, we have the pleasure zone and on the bottom, we have the pain zone. Pain are filled with negativity, pleasure are filled with um, positivity. And in the middle, as you can see, we call it the baseline. Baseline also known as the default line. Default line, so you can understand like in baseball. So that's home first, second and third and home. So the baseline is the home base. You, you're gonna step up, you're gonna bat and you're gonna go first, but the, at the end of the day, you're trying to get back there. So it's where you return to each and every day. Or Oh, that's the goal I'm trying to return back there uh, as a home base so anyways and that line you want to condition yourself and the keyword is condition you're gonna hear it over and over throughout the video because it's like the core to this whole concept that baseline move up and down based on how you condition yourself and I'm gonna explain that so on the pleasure side as you can see uh, it's all about happiness feeling joyful smiling gratitude celebration passionate loving all the finer thing in life is where everybody want to be. The pain zone, feeling angry all the time, frustration, doubtful, fear, stressful, depression, and etc. All the bad stuff that you're trying to avoid in life. So based on how you condition yourself, it's where your baseline is going to be. So on to the, the next graph. Graph B. The original black line, that is the default line for most people, right in the middle. And toward the bottom, that's where the, the pain zone is where you want to avoid, avoid zone. As you can see, red is where you want to avoid and green is where you want to be. As you notice on graph B, I added my ideal baseline. That is where I want to be as close as possible to the pleasure zone. And that line go up and down based on how you condition yourself, the routine that you set yourself to every day, the choices that you make in life, and base, and depending on how you condition yourself, that line move up and down. And I'm gonna give you guys some example. So each and every day, waking up, you do whatever it take, whatever necessary to make yourself feel good, make yourself feel joyful, make yourself feel confident, make yourself happy. It can be as simple as just having a cup of coffee. So without that cup of coffee, if it's gonna make you grumpy, it's gonna make you feel like something is missing. And if that simple cup of coffee will solve that problem, then you go for it. For me, myself, water would just do. Water make me happy, water make me healthy, water make me feel good. Each and every morning, I try my best to do a quick 10 minute of exercise. That's what get my, uh, my day rolling, hop into the shower, feeling fresh. Like, so some people make a choice to shower at night, some people make a choice to shower in the morning, some people do both. For me, I don't, I, I choose the morning because it, it wakes me up and make me feel fresh and then I'll be ready for the day and what's coming ahead. So that's what makes me feel good. Three to four times a week, I would like to work out for 60 minutes at the gym. That's what, that's what drives me, that's what makes me feel healthy, that's what makes me feel good. Just simple things like that. And from day to day, I go out of my way to put myself in situation where I will feel happy. I will feel like um, choosing what type of people I want to be around, type of event that I want to go to. For example, trying to avoid like fancy events, fine dining and all that stuff because I find myself way too stressful being in such environment and in those type of events. And being around people that are not materialistic because again, I find myself overwhelming, stressful, and 
insecurity, a little f and somewhat doubtful and fear. Because being around materialistic people, everything matters. And I don't like to live my, I don't like to feel that way. I don't like to live my, my life that way. Like if what you're wearing is not color coordinated, they would giggle about it, they would laugh about it. If not in front of your face, they'll do it behind your back, but it definitely does happen. Whoever tell you it's not happening, they're lying to you. Same thing with events. Uh, now I find myself feeling a lot more lighter about life, a lot uh, way, a lot less overwhelming and more at ease on a daily basis. Being, going to the events that nothing really matters except for being who you are. They're happy just for your appearance, just for you showing up, just for you being there. What you wear, what you drive does not matter. You can show up with slippers and I'm telling you, it does not matter. Versus fancy events, when you show up with a Honda, Toyota, sometime I have to park around the corner and walk toward the the events just because you know if you don't show up in a Bentley that you don't show up in a nice Mercedes they'll they'll judge you in some in some type form um, sometimes it's not too extreme but at some level it does happen so I find I condition myself to not be in that type of situation I condition myself to not feeling that type of overwhelm I condition myself not to feel stressful about how I'm showing up to the event, what type of style, what clothes I'm going to be wearing, if I'm even wearing the right color. Those are some examples of conditioning yourself and how to set yourself to feel toward a certain emotional state. On, and on the other hand, there are people, not many, but there are people out there that are always looking to be in the, um, in the pain zone. To be honest, I don't even know why, but they, they don't try very hard to get out of it. They, it's almost like they enjoy feeling miserable all the time. And no matter how good the situation is, no matter how ideal the situation is, they'll always turn a happy script into a sad one. For example, so you have a better understanding of it, cause, uh, just because it's snowing outside, so I'm, gonna, I'm just going to use this snowing example. If you're a happy person when it's snowing, you're going to feel joyful about it. The following morning, you're going to grab the kids and go outside and have fun with it, build a snowman, do all the activity to put a smile on your face, like sledding, tubing, snowboarding. But if you're like a miserable person, you're going to find all the bad things to say about it. Like it's cold, it's dirty, it's you know, now you, you gotta shovel the snow, you gotta remove the snow. You know, all the bad stuff is slippery. Now you're stuck at home because the roads are slippery. Just anything. They always find a negative thing to say about it. For example, let's say you're going to a joyful event. Let's say you're going to a wedding, a social event, a girl's night out, or a guy's night out, whatever the case may be, uh, a social gathering. If you're a happy person, you're gonna feel excited. You're gonna, you're happy, you, you're anxious. You can't wait to get there to be around people. Overall, you're just excited and you're about to have a lot of fun being around people, sharing story, uh, about to eat good food. And on the other hand, those who are always in the pain zone, they're gonna find something bad to say about it they're gonna say oh why can't we just stay home and save money why do we have to be stuck in this traffic we're, we're gonna have to find parking they'll turn a happy event into a, a negative one it's just what they do saying you know they can save money if they eat at home and they don't enjoy being around people overall they're just not happy no matter what you have to decide and locate yourself where you are on this graph and by moving up or down it doesn't happen overnight like you have to it happened over a long period of time because you need to create yourself a consistent habit and a consistent routine by conditioning yourself. You have to condition yourself by doing all the things that help you maintain to be on that level. And everybody's goal is to move as high as possible on this graph into the pleasure zone. That's everybody's goal. And being in the zone doesn't mean you don't experience the opposite feeling. Meaning, if you're in the pain zone, doesn't mean you don't ever smile. And if you're in the positive zone, doesn't mean you don't ever feel frustration or insecurity. It doesn't work like that. Based on how you condition yourself through a long period of time from a day-to-day -day basis, you gonna find yourself going back to that zone because you have been conditioning yourself to be in that zone over and over and over. It become a habit. It become a routine. So let's say you're in the pleasure zone and a uh, close one pass away, one of your pet die or a loved one pass away. Yes, you, you're you still gonna feel sad and you're still gonna cry. But based on how you condition yourself, you're gonna bounce right back. You're gonna find yourself back into the happy zone instantly, rapidly, very quickly because that's how you condition yourself to live your life. Yes, you're gonna feel frustration, you're gonna feel doubtful, but you're gonna get back into that happy zone 
real fast because you have already conditioned yourself to feel that way to feel that way on a consistent basis already same thing for the pain zone those people always find a way to get back into feeling misery yeah they'll get a raise at their job or they'll upgrade on their car yes they'll, or they get a gift from a friend or a family member they're gonna feel happy for a short period of time and then somehow they'll find they'll find a way to get back into their own negative zone again feeling miserable feeling insecurity feeling frustration again okay once again they have been conditioning themselves to feel that way they have already set their routine their habit that way so they're gonna go they're gonna go right back to it so yes i hope up to this point i have been clear and all this example that i have give help you guys to grasp this concept have a better understanding on how each zone work and how to condition yourself by making life choices so you be on as high as as high as possible on that graph which is toward the pleasure zone from my own experience, like I said, I, uh, I do my best to get myself in a good habit, in a good routine, to stay away from negative energy, doing the thing that I love, being around people that, that enjoy being around me for who I am, not what I am. Going to an event that I think is simple but very meaningful to me, meaning I'm very happy to be there. I'm happy after I leave. Uh, overall, you know, like uh, it, it, those events doesn't overwhelm me. Those events doesn't judge me. So just simple things like that. That's from my own personal experience. It could be different for you. It could be different for everyone. But uh, I have find myself much better than before, less overwhelming, less stressful. Overall, I'm, I'm at a better place in life. Just practice practicing this concept have a good understanding of it and give it a shot give it a try and see where it'll lead you but anyways i hope this video i hope this video have been helpful for you i hope this video opened a new perspective for you in life i'm gonna wrap up my video here i hope you enjoyed it i hope it was helpful and please don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already done so it only takes two seconds of your time and it means the word to me and hopefully i'll see you in my next video